It's like a boss. Starting off humble, like that fucking Irish guy there with his chest tattoo running around talking all this shit that he was going to do to the half of the fucking world. Now, listen, I don't watch a lot of UFC, so I don't even know any of the fucking names. But I watch that, you know, and I'm part Irish. And that guy's skipping around like a fucking leprechaun talking all that shit. It's not all talk here. I'm going to wait for everyone in this division. I said that, and I will do it. I'm going to whoop his ass. Big combination. He's going to hit the canvas hard. Oh! I'll go out and I'll put him stiff. He's out. I step up and fight. I don't f*** with the rest of them. Yeah, it just fucking annoyed me. So now I'm... I'm now I'm rooting for Barney Rubble, the Latino Barney Rubble, that Mendez dude, right? And fucking uh, what 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 this face there? Who looks like he looks like uh, he looks like a combination of uh, the guy from the Spin Doctors and uh, that creepy mascot for Burger King. I can't figure out what he is, except he can fucking <laughs> spin around and put his heel on your temple. All right, so I'm watching this shit. And he's talking all this shit, and he's doing all that Roy Jones, like, I'm going to humiliate you while I beat you. I'll eliminate Chad Mini Mendez. I don't like him. He doesn't like me. Chad's a five foot six, overblown bodybuilder. I have an eight inch reach advantage on him. I'll tower over him. And, uh, which of course is making me root for the little fella. I mean, who do I see in there? Even though that guy's a pasty fuck with red hair, just like me. He's actually got a full head of hair, the son of a bitch, right? Um, I want to root for him. You know what I mean? Little fucking redhead solidarity. I want to root for this guy. But he's such a cunt. There's not a man alive that can beat me. In the first, halfway through the first round, I'm like, you know what? Fuck this guy. Let's go, shorty! Right? I'm rooting for the little guy. The little guy's fucking starts taking him to the mat he's fucking throwing elbows this fucking little fucking burger king guy is eating these things and then he gets up and he kind of nods like oh yeah that was pretty good that was pretty good pretty good you got to cut over your eye there freckles right next thing you know next round comes out and the fucking little guy is putting this freckled cunt on his back Ground and pound, ground and pound, ground and pound. Okay? And fucking uh, Ireland's Burger King guy gets back up. He gets back up, and all of a sudden, he's not talking shit anymore. He's got a little fucking, uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty good. Pretty good. He was on top of you the whole fucking round. Long story fucking short. I think it was the third round. He fucking does it again. He's just on top of this guy, beating his fucking ass. All right? He gets up, you know? Which is good on the fucking redheaded dude. He fucking gets up. Connor, whatever. McLaughlin. Or is it Sarah McLaughlin? I don't know what the fuck his name is. Connor something or other, right? He fucking gets up. And uh, the, the little guy's gassed. The guy got two weeks notice. This other fuck's been training for months to fight this Jose, Josie, whatever the fuck his name is, right? So the little fella's gassed. He catches a fucking left. He goes down. He's covered up. He's not fighting back, but he's covering up. And immediately, the fucking dude steps in. All right, I said, I, I knock it off. That'll be it. And then the spin doctor's guy jumps up and down, you know, and jumps on the fucking cage. You know, and starts crying into the Ireland flag. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that that fucking Irish dude's not a badass fighter. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that little fella, he earned the right. He earned the right to ride out that round. Get to the chair, and then you look at him. You want to go out again? Granted, he was gassed. Maybe they saved him. But, you know, evidently that was going to be a big fight. You know, when Mayor McCheese there was going to fight Josie and the Pussy, whatever the fuck his name is, right? That's, that, that's why the fight game, man. I'm telling you right now, anybody who, who, who is the Don King of the sport, you, you should fucking... You should have to dress like Boss Hog because to me, that fucking reeked of a quick stoppage. Look at the clock closely. Ten seconds. Up and up. Could he finish him here? Here That's it is. It's all over. Connor McGregor wow. is a UFC wow. Israel featherweight champion. Wow. You can't tell me. This is, of course, you can tell me. The fuck do I know? I'm just a comedian, right? And I play one on TV, too, right? That just reeked of 
Holy fuck. We thought he was going to beat this little bastard's ass and we're going to get a two for one on the pay-per-view here because everybody, you know, the Irish guy talks so much shit. You're going to watch him anyways. Right. I know I sound like a moron. Fuck you. It, it seemed like bullshit to me. It just seemed like bullshit. Or maybe I've watched Rocky too many times. I wanted that little fella to fuck the whole thing up. I wanted him to fuck up the big payday, and it didn't happen. Okay? Hats off to the Irish guy. All right? Double hats off, because he's also a redhead. You know, he's making us look good. God knows we take a bunch of shit. <laughs> I just thought it was a quick stoppage, and good on him that he took that pounding and was able to get back up again. But I'll tell you right now, that was not a good fight for that guy, I would guess, because I would think that the other guy would be like, oh, that's very interesting. It's very interesting what that little fella there did on only fucking two weeks training. Isn't it amazing how much shit I'm giving to people who in their sleep, like walking in their sleep, could fucking choke me out the second I brushed up against them with any sort of energy that they didn't like, you know, as they're still muttering in their sleep about fucking a bowl of cornflakes, they'd still choke me out. Doesn't stop me from talking shit like the bitch that I am in my own podcast and the safety of my own of my own uh, office within my house. Oh, yeah, I'll fucking talk shit about anybody in here. You get me outside the confines of my gate. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. I, I, I like your shirt. Um, anyways, it was it was a great what a fucking if you didn't rent it, man, I, I would rent that shit. UFC. 189 for as much as i'm being a little fucking ragging cunt here just wire to wire every fight was a fucking knockout and so just to come in here and just to hear all the support like, uh, yesterday and today it's fucking i'm shaking with it 